Hey everybody, Techie101 here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories for the PlayStation 1. This will be part number six. Okay, last time we managed to steamroll through the uh, preliminaries and the tournament. We didn't really seem to have any problems, really, but uh, now we're moving on. We're going to be going into a cutscene, and this cutscene is pretty long, but before we get to that, I just wanted to show you guys what I was talking about last episode. At least I touched upon it. Uh, we're going to be addressing the issue with the, uh, the password system, because I was talking about how the two ways that you can get better cards in this game are either through grinding, through the free duel, uh, as we've shown earlier, where we can just duel people that we've already uh, fought against, and that way we can get better cards, and we just have to constantly just keep on dueling these people until we get better cards from them. Or the other option is the password system, and I told you the game pretty much wants you to do the, the first method, the grinding method, because the password system is an absolute joke, and I'm going to show you why. So, basically, uh, on the bottom left-hand corner of every Yu-Gi-Oh card, there is an eight-digit number, and that transfers over to this game as well. Now, obviously, you can only have cards that exist in the games, you know, um, in the actual game at this point, and not even all the cards that existed in the card game exist in this game, so there's only a, a limited amount. You can print out a full list on, uh, on any kind of website or, like, IGN forms I was looking at earlier. Uh, but, yeah, so you just have to type in an eight-digit code, and that will correspond to a particular Yu-Gi-Oh card that you can... Uh, look and see if it's in the actual game, and if it is, it's going to have a star chip cost. That's what the star chips are for, and we just use the star chips to buy the cards. Now, here's the problem. A lot of the cards have a ridiculous amount of star chips that nobody could possibly afford, and let me show you what I mean. So first, let me show you uh, Jirai Gumo. Jirai Gumo is probably the best card you can get for your buck in the in the sense that it's the strongest card you can get for the lowest amount of star chips. And it's not too bad. And so there we go. Jirai Gumo has 2200 attack, 100 defense, only 80 star chips. So that's not too bad. We can't afford it right now, but we could conceivably in the future. Remember, you can win uh, a, a maximum of five star chips for a duel if you get an S rank. So that's that's not too bad. We have all, we have 29 right now. We could get a Jirai Gumo fairly easily with just a few duels and free duel. However, let me show you the uh, the problem with this now. I'm now going to type in the code for the Summon Skull, which anyone that's familiar with the animation know the Summon Skull quite well. Now, the Summon Skull has an attack of 2,500 and a defense of 1,200. Now, um, before I push this in, type this in, I want to ask you guys, what do you think the Summon Skull costs? Now, we just saw Jirai Gumo that has 2,200 attack, 80 star chips. You might be thinking, like, I don't know, maybe a few hundred. You know, it's only 300 attack points stronger. Um, defense is a little bit better, but that's not by much. So, you know, how much do you think the Summon Skull is? If you're not familiar with this game, you have no idea. 999,999 star chips for the Summon Skull. Are you fucking kidding me? They might as well have just put a massive middle finger to anybody that typed that in. Because that is what that is. There is no way... That, that's basically like saying it's impossible. You cannot get the Summon Skull through the password system. It's the same exact thing as saying it's impossible. Because you just, you just crunch the numbers on this. That's almost a million. So, five star chips maximum per duel. Let's say you get, like, you get S rank for everybody. That is 200,000 duels you'll have to win. And I'm rounding up, of course. But th that's ridiculous. That's absolutely absurd. And you might be thinking, like, okay, well, maybe the Summon Skull is just, like, a really good card. And it is! I mean, it's a really good card on its own, and you can, uh, fuse it with the Red Eyes Black Dragon to get, uh, Red Eyes, uh, uh, Black Skull Dragon. Black Skull Dragon, sorry. And that's, that's 3200, so that's a really good card in its own right, yeah. So you might be thinking, like, oh, only the really strong cards in the game, like Dark Magician, White, uh, Dra um, Blue Eyes White Dragon, Gate Guardian, they're all gonna have almost a million Star Chips. And you are right, they are. But here's the other flaw with the with the uh with the with the star chips they make no freaking rhyme or reason on which cards have almost a million star chips so let me show you what i mean by that all right this is a code for a card that we do not have in our decks but it's a card that we've made before using a fusion and you will see what i mean when i like they made like the people that either were programming this either just wanted to fuck with us in like a sick joke or they were just drunk. Cockroach Knight, 800 attack, 900 defense, also almost a million star chips. That, th 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 there's no, there's no reason that has to exist at all. It's like they just took, like, a random amount of cards and made them that much. 
made them impossible to get. Like, don't even have the card come up if that you're going to be that dickish about it, really. So, um, that's the major problem with the password system, you know? You don't really, like, a card that you might want that isn't even that powerful. Like, this is, like, this is an 800 attack garbage card. It's completely useless. You know, you, like, at this stage in the game, it's not going to be able to win. It's not, it's not good for fusions. It's a freaking cockroach knight. And, and the biggest slap in the face, though, I'm going to show you one more. Just one more, and then we're going to get back. But I, I, I just want to show you this one, because this one will make... Will... <laughs> I just... I don't get it. Like, imagine me, like, as a kid, this would just piss me off, because I was always constantly looking for that infinite star chip code. Like, there has to be an infinite star chip code. But imagine, like, even if you were to, like, even as a kid, that... You know, you don't, you don't have any responsibilities outside of school, really. And all you have, you could just play this game, you know, as soon as you get home from school, all weekend, all summer. The idea of getting a million star chips and then wasting it on just one card. Remember, you just get one card after you get all the way to a million is absolutely absurd. Caterpillar, 250 attack, 300 defense, 1 million star chips. This is bad shit. That that's uh, that's absurd. Get out of here. Get get the fuck out of here. We don't need to be seeing that crap. So, th for that reason, that is the that is the reason that I'm going to um uh that is the reason that I'm going to uh probably use the the game shark code probably next episode and through that I'm going to have to you're just going to have to kind of trust me. I really wish there was a, uh, an infinite star chip code where I could just type in the star chips and I can just pick and choose which cards I get but that's not that doesn't that doesn't exist the only game shark code that exists is just one that gives you all the cards and you're just gonna have to trust me on which cards I put in our deck all right uh, here's cutscene okay hi Yugi here you're winning yeah how about you huh me well I ain't been eliminated yet we actually do not know whatever happens to Joey he does lose in the finals but we have no idea to who maybe this time I will face you in the finals I hope so, but ellipses, exclamation points. Huh, what's wrong, Yugi? Over there, it's shoddy. What? Ooh, creepy music. We meet a gun, Yugi. What are you doing here? You looking for something? I was summoned by Yugi's Millennium Item. The Millennium Puzzle? No, Yugi, the other Millennium Item you happen to be wearing around your neck. Think, butthead, think! That is correct. My own Millennium item is reacting as if it wants to be here. Here and now. Kind of disturbed the way he said that. I believe that every last Millennium item is gathered here at the tournament. My mission is to discover the secret of these items. Shouldn't you already know the secrets considering like... Okay, for those of you that don't know, Shoddy's basically like a ghost that is gar is like a guardian of the Millennium Puzzle. Like uh, the three Millennium items throughout like the ages, you know? So shouldn't he kind of already be aware of the secrets considering that's that's what his whole purpose is? That is what brought me here. Shoddy, I had a weird dream about the Millennium Puzzle. There was another guy like me in the dream, locked in the puzzle, in another world. It was a really strange dream. Yeah, well, Yugi, that's what you get when you freaking trip out on LSD, dude. I see. That might have something to do with Yami, Yugi, your doppelganger. My doppelganger? Yugi, have you ever thought about meeting your dark twin? Me? Meet him? And how's he gonna do that? I love how Joey's just here, just... Just, Joey, you don't need to be here, dude. Just, just, just go. It's cool. Go to the bathroom or something. Go get yourself a hot dog. You don't need to be having this conversation. We can use my Millennium Key to open your mind, Yugi. By, deli by delving deep into your mind, you can probably meet the other you that lies within. Or you can be put into a coma, whichever comes first. Yami Yugi was born from the power of the Millennium Puzzle. He emerges from within you. The dream you had. Maybe it has to try into secret. He has to tell you something. I think this might be the time to meet and talk. I see, you're, I see what you're saying. I'll go see him if you're willing to help me. Okay, here. Touch my Millennium Key. Now close your eyes. Relax. Open your mind. Uh, I'm feeling something weird. No, no, just ignore it. Just ignore it. Just, just let this happen. Here. This is my mind? Yeah, wow, you are one crazy mamma jamma. And you are... are me? Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's us, guys. That's Prince Teking. Hanging out in our soul. I can see inside your mind. Don't need words. I can understand you just by facing you. Did Yugi always have red eyes? I don't think I think that's a color issue. You want me to return back to your own world? I I want to help. What do I have to do? Yeah, so uh, Prince Ed Teking has been trapped inside the puzzle. Now we're basically just trying to figure out a way to free ourselves and uh, return to ancient Egypt so we can set things right. A card? 
kind of reminds me of that uh, that limited edition Moo card from the uh, the Pokemon movie. It had those weird uh, lines on the back of it. The face, it's it's blank. Wait, what is this card? Hey, uh, you didn't really do much to explain there, Chief. What's going on? Yugi, are you all right? Uh, yeah. Did it work? Did you meet him? I met him. But we only spoke briefly. We didn't really technically speak. He told me that he was a prince trapped in the puzzle a long time ago. He said he had to get back to his own world. He asked me to help him get him back. But I don't know how. Yugi, what's that you got in your hand? Huh? Whoa. Creepy. This card, he gave me the card in my mind's world. He told me to use it to free him, to send him back to his own world. What is it, shoddy? Hmm, I'm afraid I don't know. But it probably has something to do with the Millennium Items. Six blank cards, I don't get it. Hmm, six blank cards probably has something to do with the Millennium Puzzle, I mean, with the Millennium Items. There's six other Millennium Items. Weird. It's time to head back. Why don't we think of those for later? Yeah, you know, whatever. Your mind, your spirit talking to you. That's not a big deal. Come on, let's go play some children's card games. We got some duels to fight. Hells, yeah, we do. All right, so now we just move right back on the tournament, and now we're moving into the finals. Match number one of the finals, Yugi versus Shoddy. Yugi, you were drawn to battle by our Millennium Items. You were destined to duel with me. All right, so this is Shoddy. Now, the thing about Shoddy is that he can either be the biggest pushover. In fact, nine times out of ten, he's the biggest pushover in this game. He's, like, on the level of, like, Teyana or, like, Jono. But one time, if you get really just... Just luck just fucks you over, he will be a very a formidable opponent. Because I dueled him one time, and he was he was bringing out uh, the fusions. Um, I think he summoned uh, either Crimson Sunburn, something with over 2,000 attack that I did just not expect freaking him to do, and I was just getting shitty cards, and it was it was not a fun time. But hey, we got Flame Cerberus here right out of the gate, so uh, like I said, we should probably be able to deal with Shoddy, no problem, but sometimes, dude, sometimes, he's, he's not fun. He was even using some freaking, um, um, Magic and Trap cards in that duel, too. It was, it was crazy, man. It was crazy. Oh, I thought that made Uchiyoni. Whatever. Yeah, so, uh, next episode, what I'm probably going to do... Ah, see, Aqua Snake. That even troubles me, because Aqua Snake, that's a decently powered card. But, yeah, uh, la next episode, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna activate the Game Shark code, and I'm going to upgrade... I think only, like... I'm just gonna do, like, a few cards next episode. It isn't until after we get out of the tournament that I'm probably going to have some major upgrades, depending on how it goes. I might have to update a few cards because, yeah, the, the guy's coming up. This is this is the turning point. We need, to, we need to upgrade. I think this makes Mystical Sands. We need to upgrade severely. And no, I'm not going to be a dick about it. I'm not going to be like, hey guys, I'm just going to throw this uh, Meteor Black Dragon in my deck, you know, just for... Uh, just in case, you know. But I would like to get some Magic and Trap cards, because I first time I played this game as a kid, the only Magic and Trap cards I think I ever managed to get my hands on were, um, like, equip cards, like, just basic equip cards like Violet Crystal and, like, Dark Hole. And they give you Dark Hole. So, I mean, like, it, part of the fun of the game is, you know, dueling with, uh, you know, Magic and Trap cards, using some of those, and it would be nice. And, of course, all the Magic and Trap cards in the password system, guess what? Yeah, they're all a million Star Trips, too, so... I mean, I know... Th okay, now, to be fair, a lot of my fans and the people that have been, uh, commenting on these videos, which, by the way, this series is very well received. I love it so far. Thank you. Uh, they've been telling me, you know, hey, Teching, here's the best people to grind against, you know, at this stage in the game, to grind against my... Guys, I, I appreciate it. I really do. But, you know, I, I, I mean, I cannot afford to really waste a lot of time on this game. Just... I, me, me sitting down and playing this game for more than, like, an hour at the time would really get me to be like, hey, without, without filming an episode, obviously. Me filming this for, like, over an hour would just be like, yeah, I can't. I, I need I need other stuff. I have other more important shit to tend to right now, you know. Rather than just sitting in front of my computer playing a game, I I, I have I have st uh, stuff I could be studying for right now. So I appreciate it, but this is really the best route for me. And also, it'll also get because I want to do other games after this. I want to do like Sacred Cards and maybe False Bound Kingdom. I want to do other games after this. And if I spend my time grinding, it's just gonna it's just gonna drag this LP out. And I do love this game, I really do. I'd like to last it as long as possible, but um, this is the best way for it. Ah, it seems I've lost. Hmm. 
What the? My Millennium Key is a Millennium Scale! They've been drawn into the CODs. So this is why the Millennium Items were drawn to each other. Yeah, so as you can probably figure it out, yeah, the uh, you use the, uh, the cards that Prince Taking gave us in our dreams, and that will draw the Millennium Items after we defeat each opponent. So you can probably figure which opponents we're going to be fighting next. Alright, so we just defeated Shoddy, and I do not remember what card we got from him. Let me see what card we did get. We got, uh, oh, Skelengle. Yeah, that's a shitty card. We already have that in our deck, so 900 attack. Alright guys, well I'm going to be ending this episode now, it's kind of a long one, that, that, that cutscene really took a big chunk out of us, but uh, yeah, we're going to be moving on now to the uh, next episode, we're going to be fighting against uh, other holders of the Millennium Items, and uh, going through the finals, up until the final battle with Kaiba, so stick with it. This will be Teching, signing out. Later guys.